This is Pete and Joel of Pure Advice. Stop making out with your guinea pig. I have to smile. <laughs> yes. I have to smile. I have to smile. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. <laughs> Think dead puppies, dead puppies. Oh, I have them in my head. Okay. Common interests are like children. Uh, you want to never have them. Now there is two sides to the there. Are, there are two sides to the Bible, as they say, as the famous quote is. Uh, you have personally, I would make sure that you have at least one common interest with a person that you are dating. Common interests are the stepping stone of a good relationship. It's kind of like a Jenga set. All right, if you if you're pushing if you're pushing through and you're trying to make something happen, it's gonna eventually just knock it down. What you gotta do is you gotta really flick it hard, and when you flick it really hard, you're gonna notice it flies right out. And the second side of that Bible is you need to you need to be compatible. It may work well for magnets, but we're humans, and in magnets. They don't realize the stress that we go through when, when somebody wants to go shopping and spend all of your money that you just made, and all you want to do is cry. Yeah. If you're not correlating on that level, you need to fire that girl from her position and get a new one. And that's how that works. There are so many people out there for you that you should absolutely try to date them all. You are the world. There are many perspectives on, is there one person for me, are there two, are there three? The world is your oyster. Uh, are there four? You gotta think of it like a pie. And if you're eating the pie, then you, you're gonna realize that eventually, you're gonna become full. Uh, you know, do I want to be like Mitt Romney, sitting at home eating potato chips and playing StarCraft 2? It's time to get another pie, because eventually you're going to be hungry again. If you don't go out and find them, it's your fault, and you lose. And that's when you know there's something else for you. How do we, as a society, define work? Does it take a lot of work to go and get furniture? Does it take a lot of work to go and get computers? Does it take a lot of work to go and get a new shirt? I wouldn't really classify it as work. I would classify it as an enjoyable passion that you'll never get tired of doing, especially if it's with the correct person, that they're hot. Does it take a lot of work to go and watch Ninja Turtles? All of that together will combine into what I call passionate love. Uh, a passion. Uh, passionate, passionate love. And that's, that's more important. That's, that's, that takes the cake right there. Say it again with a guinea pig. Try to make out with a guinea pig? Knock it off. This is Pete and Joel with Pure Advice. Yeah, perfect. All right. If we can't get one out of that, then we need to die. <laughs>